focus on the breath. I try to stay with the breath. Give it time. Don't be too impatient. If you're constantly checking, how's it going, how's it going, how's it going? It's like putting a cake into an oven. And you take it out every now and then to see how it's doing. Well, it's never going to get baked because it doesn't have a, get a chance to warm up thoroughly. So you've been focusing on the breath long enough now, so you should have an idea of what kind of breathing feels good. Well, go right there. And then just try to maintain that. And whether the mind settles down right away or not right away, give it some time. Because after all, you're going against a lot of old, ingrained habits. And they've been going around in your mind who knows how long. So it only stands to reason that it's going to take some time for the new habits to take hold. But if you're consistently focused on the breath, stay interested in the breath, then things are bound to settle down. Because when the Buddha describes the first jhana, he says it's rapture and pleasure born of seclusion. That's seclusion from unskillful thoughts. So as long as you're keeping unskillful thoughts out of the way, you've got your chance. As long as you keep thoughts of sensuality out of the way, you don't have to think about the food you're going to be eating right now, or in a few minutes. Think about just the breath right here, right here. The sense of the body as you feel it from within. It's called form. When you're with the form of the body, you're not in the sensual area of the mind. So make sure you just stay right here. You're secluded from sensuality, secluded from unskillful thoughts, unskillful qualities. And then just give it time to bake. These things take time. There's that story of the, the Brahmin, old Brahmin who had a young wife, and everything she did, he wanted to please her. Well, she got pregnant, and she wanted a baby monkey for her, her new, new child. So we went out and bought a little baby monkey. Then the question was, what color to dye the monkey? Well, they decided, well, if it's a boy, it should be blue, and if it's a girl, it should be pink. Even back in India, they had those connotations those colors. So the question was, what, what color to dye it? So she goes into the room and takes a knife and opens up her belly to see what gender the child is. Of course, that's it. That's the end of the, end of the fetus. And the lesson there is, don't be impatient. Some things take time. Give them their time. And then you get the results you want. <laughs>